Female gamers of Reddit, what is the weirdest or most disturbing thing said to you in a game chat? Serious. Not sure if this counts, although it's related to games and chats. Anyways. I had this guy and in my guild's discord hear me in voice chat during one of the few times I'd pop in for group content. Having heard my voice he took a liking to me apparently, and he kept trying to chat me up personally. This eventually progressed into him begging me to look at pictures, videos of him wanking off because, by his own words, he was depressed and insecure and needed reassurance about himself and his whiner. Truly bizarre. I stopped mentioning I am female to anyone I don't know well enough to consider them a decent person. I am the default male since someone's you're a girl. Then suck my dick response in the first game I ever played online, so I'm lucky to not have many negative encounters caused by someone knowing my gender. I remember one guy, though. I decided to give away some trash tier currency before leaving, and he directly asked me if I am a girl, like if only girls do such. Then he started talking to me, telling about his love to a married woman who was in a hospital because of a liver failure or something like this, and complaining about females. And all the time he referred to them with no other words than pussies. You pussies always do this, you pussies do that, blah blah blah. That was awful. Wow player here too. A few years back I was leveling an alt, and ended up finding a good group to run dungeons with. There was another mage, same spec as me, and we were basically fighting for top DPS, dungeon to dungeon. He whispered me and we started talking about the spec, class, other classes we like to play, etc. It was genuinely a nice, respectful conversation. After an hour or so, he asked if I could run him through some dungeons on my main tank, and I told him I couldn't tonight. When he asked why, I let him know that my husband was almost home from work and I was going to get dinner started. He was blown away that he had been talking to a girl this whole time, and immediately asked me for pics of my feet. I laughed. He was serious. I said no, and he called me a tease. I blocked the dude, and he ended up making a lobby tune on my server, joining my guild, and finding me in our discord server. Told me he was sorry if he was rude and that I should really give him a chance because we had such nice conversation. I was more disheartened than scared. TBH, because my worth as a human being plummeted when it became known that I was a girl. All I was good for after that was foot pics and some weird guy's idea of some potential e poon. I usually play with a group, guys I've known for years, so I managed to avoid most creeps. One guy who started as a friend tried basically wooing me for years while simultaneously dating girls in his hometown, he even had one play with our group while denying they were dating until she spoke up. Also there was a stranger who got increasingly angry that his insults weren't upsetting me, I kept tagging him on, saying stuff like, you can do better than that buddy, etc, until he unleashed his final insult of, I bet you do porn where you let horses fuck you. With such force like he thought this sentence alone would cause me to crumble. That was the hardest I'd laughed that month. Back in my Halo 3 days it always started with, sour losers, after being pwned, saying things like, I can tell your balls haven't dropped yet, go fuck your mom little kid. Plus more along those lines plus I fucked her mom originals. I actually enjoyed retorting with stuff like you're just mad you lost to a girl because the 5 seconds of silence that followed this revelation was always gold. But that golden silence was followed by the typical, are you hot? How big are your boobs? How old are you? Are you single? Wow girls play video games? Despite this, I actually met some really good male friends on Halo 3 some of who I still keep in contact with, actually. Video game friends can be the best kind of friends. Halo 3 FTW It was more the situation than what was said. I was playing with a group of guys and one young kid one night. I stayed quiet until a situation arose that I needed help with. I started talking and immediately this one guy starts talking about all this nasty stuff he wanted to do to me and how much he wanted to fuck me. We had to end the game we were playing and start over without the dick, but I just felt bad because that was definitely not something the kid should have heard. It made me really wary of talking in games in the future. It doesn't matter if something does or does not happen, the second you show your girl to a group of guys, things get weird. Anything sexual for no reason other than the fact that I'm a female usually makes the most disturbing slash weird lists. The most recent has been happening in WoW. I'm camping, on and off, for a rare mount and there is this player who won't get the hint, he follows me when I'm in the area and says vulgar things such as I just farted and it smells like you, to follow up with licks you, flirts with you. He may say something innocent before reverting back to his inappropriate behavior. 
On the first day, this was 5 days ago, he did what I mentioned above for over 45 minutes before logging off. Then he came back around 6 hours later and started again. Mind you, I ignored him and acted like he wasn't there. I never said a word to him. In the end, I decided to not block him so I could get plenty of screen caps to send to a GM in a very detailed ticket. I got a reply from a GM saying that it was concerning and that they would look into it. Shortly after the GM replied to my ticket, the player logged off. Last night he showed up again. He claimed that he missed me, called me his friend, and continued on with the toxic behavior. I reported him again and added him to my block list. I'm fairly certain he will use an alt or just follow me around. He has done this with other players in the area, but seems to have a weird fixation on me. At this point, I don't think he is a troll. I think he's socially inept. Other not so recent disturbing things include people who wanted me to engage in private chats, after hearing my voice or figuring out that I am a female if I don't bother talking to them. These people will then promise to buy me games, DLCs, and even game accessories if I get sexual with them over the mic or via social media. This happens so much that people think I'm lying out of my ass. My own husband didn't even believe me until I had him sit down and listen to what is said to me during in-game chats in a two-hour period. He wasn't shocked by what he heard. He was more shocked at how often it happened during this two-hour period. And that is why I don't interact with players who are not close friends slash family and why I usually keep most in-game chats turned off. In my experience, it's not worth the BS. So this was me but also kinda wasn't. It was FFX of and I joined a random raid group whose usual tank couldn't show and ran some weeklies with them, I turned on voice chat via discord at their request but insisted I wouldn't use voice chat because I wasn't alone at the time but would if I got a permanent slot in the group which I eventually did. I didn't speak, but in the time it took me to go to settings and mute my mic my girlfriend happened to say something, she was watching TV in the same room, I didn't think anything of it and didn't realize anyone could hear her until much much later on. After the raid their healer started messaging me strange messages, seeming a bit too friendly for someone I'd never met, asking questions I didn't want to answer and doing odd flirtatious emotes and stuff. After a while he asked for pics, I said no and asked why and he wanted to see, and I quote, if I was as gorgeous as my character, female character, I said that no, he pushed the issue saying he felt like we had connected, I told him I was straight and he got confused for a second before reminding me I heard him talk in the raid and that he was a guy. That's when the penny dropped and I realized he thought I was a girl. I asked him why, he said he heard my voice which I insisted was my girlfriend. This went on for weeks, I constantly had to evade him but couldn't block him without causing friction or awkwardness within the raid group. I eventually went on voice chat to convince him. You'd think that would be the end of it right? No. No, in his mind I was a possessive boyfriend of the girl, who was the real player and I was just trying to mark my territory because I felt threatened by him. I had to take screenshots of the chat and privately discuss it with the raid leader after this because I was genuinely worried about this person making attempts to dox me or finding a way to contact my girlfriend, he got removed from the raid group and banned from the discord. I blocked him on everything and last I heard he transferred to a server notorious for their ERP community. So um, I'm not good in anatomy, but which holes does what? I also heard you can fit a whole raccoon in your vaginas. Was one of them. I was also playing a game known to be played by 80% kids slash teens so the question came out of nowhere and every kids could hear that guy. The second one was straight up, do you sell your bath water to an higher price if the client asks you to pee and shit in it? I get it, gamer girl bath water aha what a great meme but no. I ain't selling no bath water, with crap or not. May I had it was from another voiced game that I quit both because of the saltiness and the overall dumbness of it. I've been threatened with rape more times than I can count. I've had supposed friends flip out, insult me, and stalk me when I said that I'm not interested in a relationship with them, or that I won't share my social media slash photographs etc with them. Even going so far as to try and figure out who my fiancé is so that they could spam messages about what a whore I was because I turned them down. When I have disclosed that I'm in a relationship and I'm not interested in them, I have been insulted, threatened, etc. I just pretend that I'm a guy in game now and don't use voice chat etc makes life easier. On a lighter note, my then GF played my female priest in WoW on a pickup raid and kept losing every role until she deliberately decided to speak up on voice chat. Afterwards, regardless of the roles, the leader kept assigning loot to my character. At the end of the raid, the obligatory milady efforts started on voice, telling her how amazing she was despite the crappy gear she was in. She responded with, 
Oh this is my boyfriend's alt, my main is a priest in, world top 25 guild. At which point, one of her guild mates who came on the pickup raid just started busting out laughing on the channel until both got kicked. I play World of Warcraft. Once I had a guy ask me to kick him in the balls. This was not on a roleplay realm. Another time I had a guy ask me if I were interested in my character getting romanced, only to be whisked away to some place cold and frosty to engage in some Stockholm Syndrome-esque, really dark breeding fetish RP. My character would basically be held captive and made to dress in skimpy metal armor and furs, while he would act as a provider and protector. It was creepy. This is why my TRP profiles are all set to ask player permission when dealing with romance. Not game chat, though there have been a lot of those. But I play 76 a lot, and I have my group of players on FB, Snapchat etc. I went on vacation for a month in December and one guy was Snapchatting me. Usual stuff, asking what I was up to etc then asked me for a picture. Since we had talked before, I assumed he wanted a photo of what I was doing in Asia so I sent him a picture of my surroundings. No, he corrected me to say he wanted a picture of me. Then he asked why he didn't see my husband in the photo. I told him it was because my husband was in the hotel having a nap, so I went off to explore and have lunch. He got so mad at my husband, who he's never spoke to, for letting me walk around alone in a foreign country. Kept saying that if I was his girl, he'd protect me and wouldn't let me be exposed to the dangers of, I don't know what. A tourist area at 11.30am? He actually demanded that I go back to my hotel room and stop wandering around alone. Fucking weirdy.